Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video we're going to go over setting up a property in Quicken 2013 Rental Property Manager. So the first thing we're going to do is click on Rental Property. So now let's add the property. To do that we're going to click on Properties and Tenants and click on Add Property. We now give the property a name. I like to put the street address as the name. Uh, the only reason being is if I'm uh, fortunate enough to purchase multiple properties on a street address, then uh, I like to make sure that I can uh, keep them uh, separated. So, uh, this example, let's just create one called 123 Smith Street. Um, you want to have a tag that's associated with the property. Um, the reason that you have a tag is so that any expenses or income that comes uh, from that property can be tagged for reporting purposes. This way, um, if you have multiple properties um, and you have multiple expenses and income coming into your checking account, you can easily report uh, which expenses uh, and income uh, belong to which property. We then add the street address. Uh, then you can add city and state. Uh, if you have properties in multiple cities and states, then you probably want to enter this information. Um, if you have only properties in one one state or one region, then maybe this is not so important. Next, you can choose whether it's a single unit property or multi-unit property. If it's a single unit property, you, you would just keep it single unit um, and then choose whether you want to track the value of this property. Um, I like doing this. Um, because this helps you figure out what your net worth is. So, uh, for example, uh, let's say the property you're purchasing is worth 500000 You can enter that, and, uh, and Quicken will automatically keep track of your net worth. As you add value to the property, as you take as your property depreciates, as you pay off your, your mortgage balance, um, it will just keep track of your net worth. Now, let's say you this is a multi-unit property. Let's try clicking this button here. When you do that, this form expands, and now you have this option to add all the units associated with this property. So for every unit that you have on this property, you want to enter something here. Um, if your unit numbers are exactly the same as what you see here, you can enter them exactly the way that you see, see them here. If you have uh, variations like unit 2A and unit to be, you just keep on entering them until you, you've completed adding all your different units. Any, any unit that you do not fill in is not added to the property, um, and if you need to add more units, you just click on this Add More Units button. After you're done, you just click OK. So now you have a property, and now you can see all the different units associated to that property. So that's it. That's how you add uh, properties and tenants to Quicken 2013 Rental Property Manager. Next, I'm going to set up a mortgage that's associated with this property. 